came across my makeup collection video and I haven't done one on this channel so this is gonna be my first makeup collection as of 2014 and please take into account that this is probably not the smallest makeup collection on YouTube but also not the biggest one and just keep in mind that I love collecting makeup, this is my hobby, my passion, it's what makes me happy and that's what I love to spend my money on. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a makeup collection video and you said yes and that's why I wanted to film one is for you guys and everyone out there who wants to see what I have in my stash and yeah. I hope you find some new storage ideas from this video or it was helpful in any way, shape or form. So let me not ramble on and get straight to the video and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, it helps me a lot and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So here's just a quick overview of my vanity that I got from Ikea. It's 150 bucks and it's absolutely beautiful and it's just great for storing your makeup. And now we're getting a little closer. On the left side of my vanity I have these two holders by Ikea which are just a couple of bucks and they look really cute. And the pink one holds all my eye brushes which are mostly real techniques. I have a Dior one, a look by Beepa and just some other really cheap ones. And the white one holds all my real techniques face brushes, uh, Dior foundation brush, makeup factory blush brush and buffing brush, stippling brush and all that jazz. Then right over here I have this glass that I found at my home and it fits all my beauty blenders perfectly which this, this is the original one. I have the Real Techniques one. Then I have a little kabuki brush from Look by Beepa and some other dupes from the beauty blender and some sponges. And right in the back here I have some q-tips which I got at the dollar store, I think at cake or something. So on top I keep this little container which has a little flower headband around it from H&M which I think look really cute and this container is from a store that closed down I think so you won't be able to get it anymore but this store was called Michelfeit and it was around 5 bucks I think and I keep a lot of my NYX matte lip creams or limited edition MAC lip glosses in here like these Hatterette ones which are really cute. It just pops up like that and it's just handy for all kinds of lip glosses and I love it because it's so beautiful and you can see all the colors which I love. Right next to that I have this lipstick holder which is from Müller and it was around six or seven bucks I think and it stores nine lipsticks which mine are all MAC. I have a Hatterette one, MAC Barbie, Temperature Rising, a one from the latest Christmas collection and Viva Glam Nicki Minaj. Right in the back are all the three of the Riri Loves MAC matte collection ones. And I have another makeup organizer which holds a lot of lipsticks which are five of my Lime Crime lipsticks. YSL, Velop Day, Guala, Chanel, and Elf Makeup Setting Spray, an Essence Perfume which I love. Maybelline Baby Skin, some Essence Eyebrow Gel, Catrice Eyebrow Filler, Elf Daily Moisture Stick, an eyebrow set from Essence, the NYX blush that I use for contouring, which is taupe, which I absolutely love, tweezers, and here in the back are just some eye brushes, which most of them are from Sephora, Essence, or MAC, and Yves Rocher. And some elf and um, some really cheap ones. And then on the right side of my vanity I have this little organizer which is from Bad Bath & Beyond that stores all my baby lips and I made a separate video on them so I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. It has three compartments and fits them all super nicely. Up here I have another one of the lipstick containers which holds some MAC lipsticks, YSL. Chanel, MAC, MAC, more MAC. <laughs> then in this cute little glass container I just have a Juicy Couture rollerball, a little sample of the number 5 Chanel perfume and an Urban Decay speaker box. Then here on top I just have like a little glass that holds a lot of my EOS lip balms, which I think I got that at Michelfeit as well. 
And I have another frame from Ikea, which is with Lumpy Space Princess, which is so awesome. And oh my god, I love her so much. And a pizza by and I to remember um, magic powder dust, which you just spray and then you're basically a glitter fairy. Then in this little compartment, I have mostly just perfume samples and um, I have a Petit Robe Noir Gourla body milk, I have an Estee Lauder mirror, and just some other jazz, but mostly perfume samples. Then I have this glass container which I just store my Coralista blush and some other baby lips, some tart lip glosses, professional sample size, Hot Topic L LSP lip balm, and just random things. Right next to it I have this Etude House Princess powder which is super cute and I just love it on top of my vanity. It's just gorgeous and it's nice to look at. Then over here, this is a glass container from Ikea and it just holds my face powders like the Art Deco Dita Fantise compact powder, my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and my Catrice scented highlighting powder and these Essence powder papers which are just for blotting your face so they're easy to access. So what I'm storing in this compartment is all my blushes. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of my blush collection and they're all on top of each other so it's really hard but I have some Physicians Formula, the new ones which look like the MAC Make Pretty collection. Then I have a MAC Maleficent Beauty Powder limited edition and I love this one from Milani. So here I have all my MAC blushes which most of them are limited edition but I think they're gorgeous and I love MAC blushes. They have great pigmentation and really last a long time. So here's a couple of the colors that I have. Then over here I have a lot of blush sticks. Some from NYX, Essence, ELF. I have this Physicians Formula glowing blush. I have a NYX cream blush. I have three of these Maybelline Master Glaze blush sticks which are great. And down there I have a Clinique blush, I have a NYC Cheek Glow, down there I have more Catrice blushes, I have an e.l.f. blush, I have a Miami Roller Girl Essence blush, a Kiko blush trio, here on the other side I have Tarte, a little mini Tarte, more Essence Topshop, Catrice Heart Candy, my beloved Milani blushes, also I have the Luminoso that everyone raves about. L'Oreal Visible Lift. I have two of the NYX blushes. I have some Chordana blushes. The Maybelline Dream Bouncy. The Milani Illuminating Face Powder. NYC Color Wheel. The Essence Limited Edition Be Loud. I have all the Wet n Wild blushes which are awesome. Then I have a little Tarte Flush Cheek Stain. Two San Yukashuk liquid blushes. Then I have all the hard candy Fox in a Box powders, which are great. Then Essence Kalinka Beauty blush. Then all my e.l.f. blushes back here. Catrice Gradient powder. Manhattan Powder Rouge, which is an amazing one that I used to use back then. Physicians Formula, I have two Essence one, I have two Bourgeois ones. Right here I have a Benefit Powder, Georgia, which is not selling anymore. And just a really old one that I used to use. And a mirror. Love that! I also have these flowers around my mirror and these Disney ears that I got at Disneyland Orlando, which I love. These flowers are from Nanuna Na and I think they're really make this mirror look super cute, so I'll see you in a second. Over here I have the Alex 9 drawer from Ikea, which is amazing for storing makeup because it has a lot of room, it looks pretty and it's just great for makeup collectors like I am. It holds a lot of your stuff. On top of my Alex drawer I have my Muji drawer which has five compartments and I got it from Muji.de it's basically the German Muji, Muji site and it's really awesome. I love this container. It's beautiful to look at and I'm gonna show you closer now. 
So in my first compartment I have the Naked One, Naked 3 palette, I have two Tony Moly Petite Bunny glosses, two little Smashbox glosses, YSL glosses, uh, in the back I have Lime Prime Zodiac glitter and a Gosh eyeliner. In the second compartment I have Chanel lip glosses, Chanel liquid eyeshadow, MAC lip glosses, all my single MAC eyeshadows, L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow, NYX eyeshadow, these pearly things, and two MAC villain lip glosses. In the third compartment I have this limited edition MAC Heatherette eyeshadow, single Chanel eyeshadow, Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, which looks like that, and Milani lipstick, Dior lipstick. My favorite lip glosses of all time are the Benefit Ultra Plush lip glosses. I have a Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel lip gloss and a Tony Moly lip gloss in the back. In this fourth compartment, I have all my Revlon lip butters, three Catrice lipsticks, Topshop lipstick, my Milani lipsticks, which are amazing. Love them so much. Then another Catrice lipsticks and an Art Deco one. And in the last compartment, I have all my Maybelline Vivid lipsticks. The new lipsticks and in the back are all my Maybelline Color Whispers and two Estee Lauder lipsticks and one MAC Villain lipstick. Right next to my Muji drawer I have this organizer from Ikea which I'm storing my Too Faced Leopard Love Complexion Perfection Kit. I'm storing my Urban Decay Glinda palette in here and I'm storing a little e.l.f. eyeshadow beauty book in here. Right behind here I have this little acrylic organizer which I got at Pago which stores a little Too Faced palette that looks like that. Then I have a MAC Hello Kitty eyeshadow palette. I have the Maybelline Copper Chic palette, the NYX Love in Paris, Let the Meat Cake Marie Antoinette palette and the Naked Basics palette which is amazing. Then down there I have the Benefit Hello, her name is Glola palette. Down there I have the NYX Dark Shadows palette. And below that I have the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude palette. And right in the back here I have this Too Faced Be Merry Be Bright kit which was a part of the limited edition Christmas collection. Then I have all the Disney villain lookbooks back here. And they're so cool, I love them. And below that, I just have the Urban Decay Book of Shadows, which came out last year at Ulta. So I'm opening the first drawer, and this is basically about lip products, lip glosses, and everything nice. So I have NYX lip glosses, lip plumper. I have two of these amazing Inglot glosses that you can layer on top of something else and make them look amazing. I have a lot of these balm stains and these are from Primark, these are from Revlon and I'm absolutely in love with this Revlon matte balms. They're so amazing. I have the Jordana Twists and Shines and um, something from CoverGirl. NYC. Then I have these Rimmel Show Offs or Apocalypse, which are amazingly pigmented. I have MAC lip glosses. Here in the back, I have my high end lip gloss station with the YSL Gloss for Lip Day from the new line that I picked up, which is amazing. Two other YSL glosses Estee Lauder, Yves Saint Laurent, Estee Lauder, Smashbox, Helena Rubinstein, Napoleon Purtis, Color Star, Lancome. Tarte, Clarence, Smashbox, Guarna, Clinique, and Lancome glosses. Oh, I love them. In the second drawer are basically just lipsticks. I have two Jack and Sally lipsticks from Hot Topic, which I thought were so cute. Then some L'Oreal Intense lipsticks. I have two of the Benefit Hydro Smooth lip colors. And my all time favorite is the Lime Crime Red Velvet, which is amazing. I have a Dior lipstick, another Dior lipstick. I have a lot of Revlon lipsticks, NYX matte lipsticks, and Estee Lauder. 
Manhattan and Kiko lipsticks and um, more Manhattan back here. I have some IQ Cosmetics lipsticks. I have an Inglot one. These containers are from a dollar store in Austria called Teddy and I think you can get a pack of four or five for like two bucks or so, so really inexpensive. They look quite nice because I wanted them white, so I really like that. Third drawer is basically all about my palettes. I have all my Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes, Wet n Wild Fergie, Wet n Wild Spring, uh, Catrice Arts Collection palette. I have two of the Lime Crime palettes. I have two Inglot palettes that I made myself, which are still unused. Which, uh, I know, that's a shame. I have two really old Estee Lauder ones. I have another Maybelline Eye Studio quad. Catrice Absolute Nude. I have two Rimmel quads. And some Manhattan quads back here. I have a super old MAC eyeshadow palette. And I have an Art Deco one that I made myself. Maria Galland. I have a cute Clarence one which looks like a painting, so that's why I keep it because it just looks awesome. I have an Estee Lauder one, I have the Lorac Limited Edition Solid Gold one. I keep them stored in a glossy box that I got from my friends, so it keeps it like nice and organized. And the fourth drawer is basically where I keep all my eyeliners, eye pencils, liquid liners like the NYC liquid liner or the e.l.f. liquid liner, Maybelline Master Precise. Here I keep all the NYX jumbo eye pencils and all the other eye pencils that I have from Essence or other brands. Here I have a little brow section with brow sets, brow gels, brow pencils, brow lifters, the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Here in the back is where I keep all my eyeshadow primers. I have the Milani one, I have an Urban Decay one, I have the Essence I Love Stage eyeshadow primer. It's all back here. Then here is where I keep all my concealers. I have e.l.f. concealer, I have Arvada concealer, Sephora, Maybelline Fit Me. Here's where I keep all my lip liners, which are mostly from Catrice, MAC, Estee Lauder, and um, Art Deco. Just also really cheap brands like Essence. Then right next to it is where I keep all my gel eyeliners. And I have a white one and a blue one from Inglot. I have a green one from Smashbox. I have the e.l.f. gel eyeliner, I have the Catrice gel eyeliner. I have the MAC fluid line in dip down which I wanted to use for my eyebrows but kind of stopped doing that. Here are some eye coals, eye cajels. Here on the side I just have a pencil sharpener from Pitzvai which I use for my Jumbo eye pencils and um, for other stick formats. Then I have the How to Make Brows Wow kit from Essence and the How to Make Nude Eyes from Essence. In the next drawer is all about mascara. Here's where I keep all my mascaras. I'm just going to show you the ones that I love the most because there are too many. Uh, the Rimmel Scandalize, Benefit They're Real, Maybelline One by One. Then I also love this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Then next to that I have all my primers. I have the Gosh Velvet Touch Primer. I have the Heart Candy Sheer Envy Skin Perfecting Primer. I have the Garnier 5 Second Perfect Blur. Maybelline Baby Skin, which I don't really see any difference with that. The NYX Shine Killer. Behind that is all my powders. I have this Essence All About Matte Fixing Loose Powder. I have the Essence Makeup 2-in-1 powder, Maybelline Pure Mineral Makeup, I have a YSL Semi Loose Radiant Powder, and a Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder, and I have this Chio Girl Loose Powder from Walmart, I think, and some Catrice Skin Finish, and I also have the NYC Sunny Bronzer, 
which I haven't used that yet. Coming to the first big drawer, this is where all the lip stuff happens, which that is another glossy box that I use to store this part. And it just basically has all of my Gleezy Tube lip glosses. I have a lot of Essence ones. I have a Victoria's Secret one. I have a big Estee Lauder one, a Sephora one. I love, and then the CoverGirl Wet Slicks, which I'm absolutely obsessed with because they're so yummy. Right next to that, I have two sleek pout polishes, which are amazing. I have another lip gloss that I got for my birthday last year, and a Born Lippy from the Body Shop, which is oh, so yummy. I have one from Nivea. Here in the back are all the Nivea lip butters, which are amazing. They're super yummy too. And I have this Vaseline Lip Therapy, Balea Young Splashy Watermelon Lip Balm, Be Pretty. I have an EOS chapstick, all my lip smackers, labellos, or lip balms in any shape or form are basically stuck in this thing. To the right, I have all the other lip glosses I own which are way too many, but I have this nice one from Urban Outfitters, which has real flowers in it. And just other ones like Elme, Heart Candy, Pitzvai, Essence. So that was my lip drawer. Then here comes my highlighting drawer. And I have my more high-end section down here, which I own Max Soft and Gentle. MAC Stereo Rose, then I have this beauty powder which is named Snow Globe and I just couldn't resist it because it's basically me. Then I have an Estee Lauder one with Tom Ford, I have a Art Deco one, I have Benefit High Beam, then I have the Riri Loves MAC Cream Color Base in Diamonds I think, a Dior one and an Art Deco Dita Fontese one. Then here in the back I have a Catrice highlighter, a Catrice loose moisturizing highlighter which is so beautiful that I had to get it twice even though I will never ever finish this one and I have a Catrice stick highlighter, I have the e.l.f. shimmer facial whip, here I have the Essence liquid highlighter which has snowflakes on it. And here in the back I have all my Essence limited edition highlighters from the Blue Me Up collection, then from the Eye Size Baby collection with the Snowflake, and the Fantasia Elf Yourself highlighter, the Cream highlighter from the Dark Romance collection, the Ticket to Paradise Shimmer Powder, the beautiful one from the Love Letters limited edition, and I have the one from the Beauty Beats collection. In the back, as you can see, I just have some lashes that I keep back there because I really don't use lashes that often, but I do use the Katy Perry ones. Um, I love them. They're amazing. I have a duo lash glue back in here as well. And then I have some of the essence boxes, which this is the how to make your face wow, how to make smoky eyes, and uh, how to make bright eyes. Below that, I have my single eyeshadow drawer, which is kind of insane, and I'm gonna talk you through it. So, right here, I just have a lot of the Essence Elf look by Beepa. Then I have a lot of the Maybelline color tattoos, which are amazing. A single hard candy eyeshadow. Then over here I have all the cream eyeshadows. I have some from Bobbi Brown, MAC Paint Pot in Bear Study. I have a Christian Dior cream eyeshadow. Then some from Essence. And then I have these cool cream color shock long lasting eyeshadows from Kiko. Then behind that I have two of the MAC. Maleficent limited edition eyeshadows from the collection from 2010. I have two Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. Just a lot of random eyeshadows. Then far, far in the back, I have all the four 
pigments from MAC Archie's Girls. I have a pigment from Napoleon Purdis. Then I have two of the Stila Countless Color pigments, which I'm super in love with. They're great for eyeshadow and blush. Super amazing. I have a MAC Press pigment and I have a Napoleon Purdis Loose Dust eyeshadow duo. Tiny, tiny pigments from Essence and this big old MAC pigment. And finally, the last drawer is all nail polish. It's just, oh, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I made a little color wheel for my OPIs and I have basically OPIs here in the front are all OPIs. I have a lot of Catrice. I have some nail files back here. I have some Estee Lauder ones, Art Deco. Some of my favorites are the ones from YSL. One of my favorites are these Kiko Sugar Matte Nail Lacquers. They're amazing. Love the colors, they're great. Some MAC ones, which this is one of the most gorgeous colors ever. So yeah, that's basically all that. I have some nail flakes, I have some nail stickers from the Essence Crystallized collection with the snowflakes, which I already tried and they're so cool. Then I have stuff for painting my nails. I have this brush from the Essence Superheroes collection, which is for effect nails. So yeah, that's basically it.